a fitting backdrop for a match of massive significance. The stage is set, packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is trying to decide which side will outbox the other. Comprehensive coverage coming up live on EA TV. It really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's into Miami, and they face Al Nasser. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4-3-3, but they've got to be effective, both with their dribbling and their crosses. Otherwise, they'll become bit part players. Pass and move, pass and move. Their opponents really struggling to get a look in. Laporte. Alex Tellez has it. Cristiano Ronaldo. Al Ganam. Intense pressure. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, whether he's on the run, drilling a shot, hitting a volley, or even shooting with the inside of his foot, he strikes the ball with such power. And this is why he beats the goalkeeper so often. He's a tremendous striker of the ball. A running room in the wide position. Good strength to keep the ball, but just like that, possession changes hands. Abdulela Al Amri. They've given it away. Abdullah Al Khaybari. Brozovic, it's with Laporte, Al Khaybari, now Brozovic, Mane, plenty of options, and a very good challenge. Matias Rojas. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Mane. Now Brozovic. Exploiting the wide area. 
This looks more than decent. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Taylor. Jordi Alba now Busquets Matias Rojas Busquets fluency of movement well they couldn't keep that sequence going unfortunately just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack well they need to get bodies back but really sticking to the task defensively. Matias Rojas. Just 15 minutes remaining. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. This might be ideal for the counter. An effective challenge. Taylor. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. And let's give credit to the defending. And room now out on the wing. Now possibilities in the centre. And angling it back. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Well, the fans believe there's hope here. Can the players respond now? Alamri. And that blows us for full time and it's a victory for the visitors well Derek they didn't dominate the game by any means today but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game Stuart well he obviously scored the winning goal but it was his overall performance that impressed me most he was on fire today